Well, with this cold weather, chances are you probably heard the term polar vortex maybe in the last week or so. Uh, while there is such a thing, there's a lot of information out there about what it is and why it happens. Alex Lehner joins us now to break it all down so we can understand the polar vortex. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, uh, several years back, this period that we sometimes see in the winter, uh, this blast of Arctic air was termed the polar vortex. And you might have remembered back in 2019, T-shirts, the phrases, the hashtag, I survived the polar vortex. Okay, so what exactly is the polar vortex? This is a fantastic image highlighting the polar vortex in action from a NOAA satellite. You'll see that high-res image, the polar vortex over the North Pole. So it's always present, and it doesn't move its central location, but it does do, as you'll see in this video, a little bit of a dance. It's a mass, of a low-pressure mass, of very, very cold air that's situated above the poles and in our stratosphere. So it's some 10 to about 30 miles above the surface of the Earth. And the term vortex literally just means the counterclockwise spin around that very, very cold air. In the winter, the winds of that vortex expand, if you will, and the dance, of course, continues. And that really cold air that was confined to the northernmost pole is able to expand and sort of sink down, if you will, into parts of North America, as we're experiencing now. Another image from NOAA also shows kind of a before and after, more still shots of that. You'll notice the more concentrated um, image on the right of the screen. And when that air expands, uh, that the winds rather allow that air to kind of sink down, as we mentioned, into more of our neck of the woods. So experiencing something that our friends far off towards the north get, and granted it is much, much worse up there, but we are getting a little dose of that Arctic blast. So polar vortex always present, just sort of ebbs and flows through the season. And it's not entirely uncommon to get this in the winter. Uh, the unfortunate thing is, is we're in a little bit of a stretch of it and cold air is very dense and it's not exactly easy to move. So we kind of just have to grin and bear it. <laughs> but yes, a taste of that Arctic air in our area right now, Tom yes. and Alex. And, mm -hmm. and we have the polar vortex to thanks for, thanks for that. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it, Alex.